Hacking looks complicated. You imagine some guy in a hoodie, sitting in a dark room, typing at lightning speed while green code rains down his screen. But in reality, hackers only break in three ways. That's it. No magic. No movie-level superpowers. Just three basic techniques that work over and over again. And the best part? You've probably fallen for at least one of them. Oh, hell no! That's the oh, way. hell no! Oh! oh, hell no! The easiest way to hack someone? Just ask them for their password. No, seriously. It's called social engineering. And hackers don't hack computers. They hack people. Ever gotten a sketchy email saying, Your account has been compromised. Click here to log in? That's a phishing attack. Or those scam calls from Microsoft tech support asking for remote access? Hello, my name is Kamil Habib Hibab. I am calling from Microsoft Corporation. Please go buy gift cards and email me PIN numbers to gift cards to win free vacation. Also, social engineering. The 2020 Twitter hack happened because a few hackers simply called up Twitter employees and asked for their credentials. And it worked. People are the weakest link, and hackers know it. They don't need to brute force their way into your account when they can just trick you into handing over the keys. But if tricking people doesn't work, hackers go for plan B, exploiting bad code. Every piece of software has bugs, and some of those bugs can let hackers do things they really shouldn't. Ever typed in something weird into a login box and it broke the website? That's an injection attack. Hackers do the same thing, except instead of breaking the site, they use it to steal passwords or take control of databases. Then there are buffer overflows, where hackers force a program to overload itself until it starts running their own code. And of course, zero-day vulnerabilities, exploits that exist before anyone even knows they're there. In 2017, Equifax got hacked because of one unpatched vulnerability, and it exposed 147 million people's data. Imagine leaking half the U.S. population because someone forgot to update their software. But why hack a system when people literally hand over their passwords for free? Stolen credentials are one of the easiest ways hackers break in. Every year, millions of passwords leak from data breaches. And hackers just take those and try them everywhere. It's called credential stuffing. And because people love using password123 for everything, it actually works. A single leaked password can give a hacker access to your email, your Netflix, even your bank account. In 2021, hackers shut down the entire Colonial Pipeline because someone used a weak leaked password. Congratulations, your bad password could literally cause a gas shortage. Speaking of hackers pulling off ridiculous stunts, here's something even dumber. Most of them are broke. Why? Because they waste time watching random tutorials that teach them everything except how to actually make money. You know, like the folks pulling in $1,000, $5,000, even $10,000 plus from hacking. Just by knowing where to look, what to exploit, and how to turn vulnerabilities into payouts. That's exactly what we break down inside CyberFlows Academy. No fluff, no outdated theory, just the real skills that get results. Web hacking, bug bounty, reverse engineering, and full ethical hacking, all taught step by step, so you actually know what you're doing. We even have a private community where hackers share exploits before they go public, so you'll see exactly how others are landing four-figure bounties and how you can do the same. Oh, and if you're impatient, our 51% affiliate system means you can start making money before you even find your first bug. Some members have made back their investment in weeks, others have turned hacking into a full-time job, spots are closing fast. Every day you wait, some guy with a smart toaster is getting ahead of you. Click below, get inside, and start making hacking pay. Hackers don't need superpowers. They just need one of these three methods to work. Uh, or either they trick you, exploit bad code, or use stolen credentials. And since most people fall for at least one, hacking isn't hard. It's just way too easy. So update your software, stop reusing password123, and if you get an email from a Nigerian prince, maybe, just delete it, subscribe, or I'll reset your Netflix password.